All right, what's up, guys? I'm back with the P29, <clears throat> and as you guys saw from the video, I was having some slide issues, so I started going through it. And um, this little piece, I knew something was up with it. I had it sticking out here, and um, I actually ended up putting it on wrong, and it bent the fuck out of it. I don't, I don't really know what it, this does. I think it's some kind of assist for the safety but it, it goes right back here and it'll click up and down when the safety goes up and um yeah I, I didn't have it in the right slot so it was sticking out and this top part was catching the slide and it's not supposed to so i'm not even gonna bother using this i'm gonna go ahead and assemble it and uh see if it see what it does um i'll leave it out for now let me grab the rest of the stuff and i'll put it together Slide hardware. Remember to watch all those little springs and shit. I almost lost that plug right now that I was taking it apart. Alright. Yeah, springs are a biatch if you lose them. This is just a plunger that goes on this side. And these plungers can be a fucking bitch too sometimes. Um. I like using, whenever there's a plunger involved, I like using flatheads. Gives you more of a base. Alright, so plunger's in. Once you get that in, remember not to pop it up, or it'll fly out and you never see it again. So I'm not going to use that. We'll see how that goes, right? Sorry, I gotta remember to stay in the view of the camera. <clears throat> so I hope everybody's been alright. It's been raining out here out of nowhere. Fucking CERN needs to stop messing with the weather, right? <laughs> Watch out for that plunger again, because this has to go up and over. And this guy has to come down. God damn, I'm making this look hard, huh, guys? <laughs> oh, I'm not in the zone today. I apologize if it keeps going out of the view of the camera. Alright, so that shit's all in. Let's see, I almost lost the plunger again. Alright, plunger in. Let me get the grip. Yeah, I noticed in a lot of these blank guns, these fucking plastic grips actually hold a lot of the hardware in. Keep everything from falling out. And then, um, yeah, I was, I was looking through some emails, um, and a lot of the guns, a lot of the frames are very similar, especially with the Eccles, um, pretty much the Echo, um, what is it, the, the Dickle, the... I don't know, the Beretta looking ones and then the Jackals. Um, they all pretty much have the same frame. Same with the with the small ones like the the Echo Tuna no not the Tuna. The what the fuck's the Echo one? The Botan and um there's another one. A lot of those are similar frames.
Okay. Yeah, so, I mean, it looks like it's going to function fine without this part. Like I said, I think this is some kind of safety assist or some shit. But uh, we're going to go ahead and not use it and consider it an extra part because we don't need it. And if you have extra parts left over, it means you built it better, right? <laughs> but uh, yeah, this guy's ready to go. I'm going to oil it up and try to get another test in today and hopefully get back to you guys.